Good morning. I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm putting on a full face of makeup, which I rarely do anymore. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. A lot of what I'm using today are favorites of mine, but I am trying a few new things. First of all, I have two blushes and I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. One is an e.l.f. putty blush and another is a cream blush from Fenty Beauty. We'll kind of figure that out a little later in the video. I'm also going to be trying the Beyond Mascara from City Beauty. Believe it or not, as much as I love City Beauty, I've never tried this mascara, so I thought I'd give it a whirl today. You guys know how much I love the Kosas Brow Pencil. I've been using that almost exclusively since I first tried it. This is the Kosas Air Brow, and it's a gel that you set your brows with. At least that's what I think. I've never used it before, so I'm going to be using this on my brows today, and we'll see how it performs. And I'm going to top everything off with a gorgeous red lipstick, which is going to be so fun because I haven't worn a red lipstick since last season, <laughs> last winter. I'm going to start out with a little bit of City Lips Plumping Lip Gloss on my lips. I always regret it when I don't remember to put this lip gloss on while I'm doing my makeup because it hydrates my lips and it fluffs them up a little bit before I put on my lipstick. This is the color Tinsel Town. I generally use a clear lipstick while I'm putting my makeup on, but my clear is in the other room, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. If you're new here, welcome in. I'm so glad you stopped by. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in getting my Sunday email newsletter, what's the Sunday email newsletter? I send out a short, sweet email every Sunday morning highlighting all the good things I found from the week. Goodbyes, interesting articles, just stuff that I think is worth sharing. You can sign up by just clicking the link in the description box down below. It's free, it's fun, you can unsubscribe anytime. I think you're going to love it. I'm going to start out today by putting a little bit of this Catrice powder in my eyebrows because I did my skincare about 30 minutes ago. I like to wait about 30 minutes for my skincare to soak in. And I get a lot of skincare in my eyebrows and my eyebrow hairs are long. <laughs> and so it makes it really hard to put on a pencil or anything else to color my eyebrows with all that skincare. So this sort of soaks up the skincare and gives me a little bit better foundation to work on. And as always, everything that I use today would be listed and linked below in the description box so you can find them really easily. This is an e.l.f. brow pencil and I think it's been empty for a long, long time. Don't ever throw these brow pencils away because they have the spoolie on the end. If you have pets, you're going to love this tip. You may be already doing it yourself. What I use my used up brow pencils for is to get the fur off my face. <laughs> I don't know about you, but having a dog and a cat, and when I do my skincare, I end up with fur all over my face, and it's the kind that you can't really grab. So I'll just take my little spoolie and go around my face and get all the fur off my face. It's a lifesaver, so don't throw these out. I'm gonna start with a primer today. This is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I am using this up because I own it. This is a great primer. You can get almost the same thing from NYX, the Marshmallow Primer, at a fraction of the price. So if you love Tatcha, this is a great primer. If you'd like to save a little bit of money on a good primer, the NYX Marshmallow Primer is really, really lovely. And I enjoyed it very much. However, <laughs> a few visits ago from my daughter, I gave her my NYX Marshmallow Primer. And I haven't repurchased it yet because I want to use up the primers that I already have. So... There we have it. This is really silky. Oh, and it just lays down on the skin so nicely. It feels like skincare. It feels like luscious. Skincare is what it feels like. I have lots of things to talk with you guys about today, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to have you with me while I'm doing my makeup. I can kind of talk and do makeup at the same time. This is the Beauty Pie Under Eye Genius. This is kind of an under eye primer for your concealer, but I want you to look at what it does when I put it on. It really does knock down those purple shadows underneath my eyes, in addition to really hanging on to my concealer. It's a real big hit with me. You can see I've made my way through this little container pretty effectively. 
I love this. I haven't found anything else that works as well for me. So the first thing I want to talk with you guys about is sale season. <laughs> and I talked about this in another video, but I wanted to say it again in this shorter video for those of you who don't like to watch the long videos. November and December is really sale season, particularly in the skincare and skincare devices arena. I started getting inquiries from manufacturers, gosh, probably, oh, four to six weeks ago, wanting sponsored videos, wanting me to talk about their sales and that sort of thing. So this definitely is a great time to pick up either skincare or a skincare device if you've been looking at one and waiting for it to go on sale during November and December. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be highlighting those sales from companies that I really like and I use their products in November and December, mostly through doing lives. So what's going to happen is I'm going to jump on YouTube Live and do a Q&A answering all your questions. Before the question and answer portion starts, I'll be highlighting what the sale is, whether it's a skincare product or a skincare anti-aging device product. It's a fun way for you guys to learn about what's on sale, and there's some really good prices that are coming up while we're doing something fun. I think lives are so much fun. I hope you guys do too. I just really, really enjoy them. Another thing I want to say is that I do have right now at least two companies that are offering sales just for this channel. In other words, it's a sale specific to this channel, so you'll definitely want to tune in for those. In addition, during the month of November, I'm going to be sending out one midweek email talking about a really good sale. I usually never send out midweek emails unless it's something really interesting or really important or something I really want you to know. And I try to keep them really short and really sweet because heaven knows my email inbox is the bane of my existence and it might be the same way for you. So I try to keep them really short and sweet and to the point. So I'll be sending out one of those mid-November talking about a sale that I think you're really gonna wanna hear about. This is the Kosas Brow Pop. Did I mention that? I can't even remember anymore. I'm yakking so much. This is my MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. I'm going to be using this as my eyeshadow primer today. I just love it. This is just an oldie but goldie and a trick that someone came up with a long time ago. I don't know who. Maybe one of you guys know. But I find it really covers up all the little doodads on my eyelids and hangs on to my shadow really well. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox Palette. I love this palette. If you are not a real makeup person and you just want to have one palette that can almost meet all your needs, this could be the one for you. It is super affordable. There's a ton of neutral shades in here. It really puts together a beautiful look. The formulas are terrific. So I'm going to be using this today. My eye look is going to be fairly simple. I'm dipping into this cream color right here because I want the focus to be on my lips. So I'm just going to put this cream color all over my entire lid, from the movable lid all the way up to underneath my eyebrow. And I'll be using mostly BK Beauty brushes today. I kind of go back between the original BK Beauty line and the Angie Hot and Flashy line. I'll go ahead and have them listed down below if you want to check them out. I really do like the brushes. They're affordable for a nice brush. In other words, in my mind, they're a really good value. Next, I'm going to hop into this light and neutral tone up here, and that's going to go into the transition area. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my eyes relaxed because when I lift them up, it's a very different scenario. <laughs> and I want to make sure that this transition color is going to go in an area that's going to show up when my eyes are relaxed. I'm gonna go back in with that big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend that in really well. Not much blending is really needed. It, these shadows just work together so well. Now I'm going to take my flat brush. You know, I'm not really sure where I got this brush, but I certainly do love it. If you find a flat brush like this, you might wanna pick it up if it's a good price because this is so handy. 
I'm going to go ahead and dip it into this darker taupey brown here and that's going to go deep in the crease just on the outside third of my eye and then down along the outside corner of my movable lid and along my lash line. I'm going to load my brush up again just to give a little bit of emphasis to that outside corner of my eye. I'm going to flick it up a little bit in order to sort of give a visual lift to my eye. And you can see that skin is not taut. So I want to be really careful how I do that so it doesn't go outside of the parameters between the corner of my eye and the corner of my brow. If I get shadow on this area right here, it tends to draw my eye down and I want to keep everything nice and lifted. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other eye, deep in the crease on the outside third, and then down along the lash line. You can see how I flipped that eyeshadow up to kind of fake a lift in that area of my eye. Now I'm going to go back in with that big fluffy brush again and just soften that shadow up and really blend those edges into the existing shadow. Before I go into foundation, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a classic product. Gosh, I purchased this, I think it's been two years now, and I still have a ton of product in here. I don't know if I'll ever use it up in my lifetime. I'm going to put this on underneath my foundation because I just want to give a little bit of that glow within look on the high points of my cheeks here. So I'm just going to pat that in with my fingers. For foundation today, I'm using my beloved Dior Forever Skin Glow. This is probably my favorite foundation. However, the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation is almost as good as this at a fraction of the price. <laughs> but if you love Dior, this is a fabulously gorgeous foundation. I really love it. Super easy to work with. Looks terrific on the skin. Keeps my skin looking glowy and moist throughout the day. It really is my favorite. So I'm just going to pat a little bit around my face. This is the BK Beauty 101 Complexion Brush. Still my favorite for this type of foundation application. Because of that angle, really, really nice. You can get in all the little nooks and crannies and really start pouncing that foundation in. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys about the other thing. This is really fun and I think really exciting, at least for me. Maybe not for you, but it is for me. You might remember that several months back, kind of when I was in the process of thinking about moving to South Carolina and moving to South Carolina, I absolutely fell in love with the Middle Aged Minx channel. Jo Good is who has the channel. She is a BBC presenter in England. She lives in London and she has the channel Middle Aged Minx. I love her channel. It is my Sunday morning pleasure to have my coffee and watch Jo Good. She's just so much fun even though she's very, very different than I am. She loves the city. I love a small town. She lives in London. I live in a little town in South Carolina. She's a real fashion gal. That's not my strength. <laughs> We're very, very different, but I enjoy her so much. I think it's her zest for life that I find so appealing and so attractive. So I've got that foundation. Isn't that pretty? Worked in with the brush. And now I'm gonna go back in with my sponge. I just really like the way a sponge makes a foundation look. The finish just becomes really silky. So anyway, back to Joe Good. You might remember that I interviewed Joe Good. Gosh, it's been a couple of months now, maybe six weeks. I can't even really remember. Well, Joe Good flipped the tables and interviewed me, which is so funny. It's like she's a celebrity. I am not. Anyway, we hopped on and did a fun little interview that she's posted today. It should be on YouTube today. I know I'm filming this a few days before that, but if you're interested in seeing what Joe Good and I talk about in this little interview, I'll have it listed down below. She is so fun. She is such a gracious interviewer. I think you might enjoy it if you enjoyed Joe Good or if you enjoyed me. 
So hop on over there, say hi to Joe, make sure you subscribe. One of my new goals in life is to make sure that Joe Good gets up to 100,000 subscribers so she can get that little YouTube plaque. Here, I'll show you mine. So this is the little plaque that YouTube sends you when you hit 100,000 subscribers. Joe really wants one of these, so it's like I'm determined to get her this plaque. So if you go over there and watch the interview, make sure you subscribe because I want to get Joe her plaque. For concealer today, I am still in love with the Tarte Creamy Shape Tape Concealer, not the regular, the creamy. I really do like this. It just works really well for my eyes. And one thing that I think I've found with the mature beauty community is that we seem to each have found a concealer that really works for us specifically. That's important to note because all skin types are different and different products work for different people. This is just the one that I have found works really well for me. I like the fact that it is bright and light and really opens up that area underneath my eyes. And for me, when I use that Beauty Pie Under Eye Genius, it sits down and looks nice throughout the day. It doesn't turn me into the Crip Keeper with these crinkly, wrinkly, dry under eyes. I'm just pressing it in with the BK Beauty. This is the 205 brush. At least I think that's what it says. <laughs> it's a little hard to see. So I'm just pressing that in. Now I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and smooth that down. This is my Sigma sponge. I've been in love with this sponge for, gosh, over two years now. It just meets all my needs. Now that I have that concealer all pressed in, I'm going to go in with my Kosas Cloud Set Powder and a little angled brush. This is from Refer. They have beautiful brushes. They're a little pricier, but oh my gosh, they're just gorgeous. Tap off any excess, and I'm just going to press that down. A little bit on my forehead and down along my chin. I'm going to be using two bronzers today, one for the majority of my face and the other for underneath my chin. I like to use a bronzer underneath my chin or a contour to create a little bit more of a chin look. I am getting that kind of, oh, lax skin right there, so I like to make sure that I use something to kind of cut that in a little better. This is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. I love this. The formula is beautiful, light, this really does a pretty job. And watch how that just livens up my skin. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna bring that along the sides of my face and my cheekbone area. And then just a soft application right along my jawline and blend it down my neck. Now I'm gonna go in with a Kat Von D. This is her contour gel and it's very potent. Blends in nicely, so I'm just gonna add that a little bit to the contour area of my cheek. And then I'm gonna bring it down along my chin line as well. Now I'm gonna take my stipple brush and just pounce that in. This stipple brush, oh my gosh, I can't even remember who it's from anymore. I think it's an elf brush. I don't think they have it anymore. But I'll tell you, I did not have a stipple brush in my collection for a long time. I love having a stipple brush. It is so very handy. I don't think you need an expensive one. I think an affordable stipple brush is just fine. Now I'm just going to go along my chin line and pounce that in. And see how that just creates more of a shadow along my chin line and gives the illusion of me having a little firmer neck, <laughs> which I don't mind a bit. I'm going to go along the edges and just press those in to make sure that the products are just smoothly blending into my foundation. That's one of the most important things I think about makeup as I've grown older. The blending is so important because my skin's a little bit looser, a little more wrinkly and crinkly. So I like to make sure that any color that I apply to my face is blended in really well. I pulled out two blushes today. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. This is an e.l.f. putty blush and this is a Fenty Beauty cream blush. You know, I think this looks a little pinkier and peachier. This looks a little more red. I think I'm gonna go with the Fenty because the lipstick that I ultimately chose is kind of a really, really pretty red. So I wanna kind of stay in that arena. 
So I'm just going to get a little bit of this on my finger and apply that to the upstairs area of my cheek. Gosh, that's a pretty color. Same thing over here, and I'm going to go back and blend it in. I'm going to take my blush brush and just really work that in. I haven't used this blush before. Gosh, it certainly is pretty. Let me see if I can see what the color is. <laughs> I have to get my glasses. Okay, this is Summertime Wine. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Now I'm going to go back in with my sponge and again just press around the edges to make sure that blends really well. For highlighter today, I'm going to use probably my favorite highlighter. This is from Makeup by Mario. It's in the color Pearl. I love this. And you know, when he first launched this, it got sold out right away. I don't know if it's back in stock or not. Here's what I love so much about this highlighter is that it melts into the skin. It just doesn't sit on top of your face. It actually just blends in really well. Super pretty highlight look without looking like you've got something sitting there. So just love this one. Keep it on the end of my nose. I'm going to go in with the big BK Beauty fluffy brush. This is the 103 brush and just blend everything in back to the blending again. To finish off the complexion, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass. This is a finishing powder in dim light. I picked these up before I moved. I picked two of them up. I love this so much. It just gives just the prettiest glow to the skin that just sort of tops everything off. Subtle, but just gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Mm. I'm going to go ahead and set my face now. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I like this. My other favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. I have the hardest time saying that. But I'm going to go ahead and use this one today. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and use my L'Oreal Lay Liner to tight line and do a small little eyeliner on the top of my lid and I'll be right back to try the City Beauty Mascara. Which I've never tried. I can't believe that. Before I hop in with the City Beauty Beyond Mascara, I'm going to go ahead and use my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Base. If you haven't used a lash base on your eyelashes yet before your mascara, you might want to give it a try. It makes such a big difference. And I was really late to the game on this. And boy, now that I know how powerful a lash base is, I'll never go back. So I just put a very light coat, light coat as I go in for the second time, I put a coat on my lashes. And this is a drugstore price. You know, it's not super expensive. A tube lasts me probably a good six months. So I think it's a good value. The difference in how my lashes look when I use a base compared to what I don't is like night and day. I should do a comparison, one side with no lash base, one side with a base. That would be a good thing to see because it really is dramatic. So this is the City Beauty Beyond Mascara. Have you used this? <laughs> I haven't used this and I've had it for a long time. I don't know why I've never used it. Comes in the classic City Beauty packaging with the navy blue and gold. What do we have here? Okay, it has a standard wand. Looks like it's one of those that's kind of thin in the middle and gets fatter on either end and it's sort of twisty looking. I just opened this up, so I don't know if it's gonna to be too wet or what it's gonna be, but this is the first time I've ever used it. And I'm definitely getting some length. That could just be from the mascara base. So one coat on that side. Okay, so this is what it looks like with just one coat. It went on really, really easily. It doesn't seem too wet. It has a good consistency and it really didn't clump. So it's looking pretty good. I'm going to let that set just for a minute and then go in with the second coat. Here's the eyelashes with two coats. I think they look good. A little bit of clumping on the second coat, but it might have been that I didn't let it dry long enough. I kind of jumped in a little quick. I think it's pretty. 
It is a good formula, it's easy to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in now with the Kosas Air Brow. I've used the Kosas Brow Pop on my brows to just fill them in. And then this is just going to give them a little bit more color and hopefully set them down. Because my lashes are long, they do move around. So I like to make sure they're set down for the day so I don't look like I've got wild and crazy eyebrows throughout the day. I'm really excited about the lip combination because I haven't worn red lipstick in so long and it is so fun to just do from time to time. I'm going to start with a Rimmel liner. This is in the color Red Dynamite. And I'm using it mostly because I think this is the only red lip liner I have. The lipstick is from L'Oreal. Isn't that just so pretty? The name is Blooming Rose, and you can see it right here. Oh, golly. I think that lip liner might be a little bit too light, but that lipstick color is gorgeous. Okay, I've changed out the lip liner. I thought the Rimmel one was too light. This is a gel liner from Sephora, and it's in the color Cherry, I believe. I'll have it listed down below. I have not used this before. I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll give it a whirl. So this is what it looks like. I've actually heard good things about these Sephora lip liners. Here we have the red lip. Isn't that just so fun? Here we have the finished look. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of fun. I haven't done a makeup video like this in a little bit and I had a great time. I hope you did too. For me, the standouts for this makeup look, of course, were my favorites. The Stone Cold Fox palette, you really can't go wrong. So affordable, formulas are fantastic. The Forever Skin Glow Foundation from Dior. They have the older formula and the new formula. I like them both, so you really can't go wrong either way. Love, love, love this blush from Fenty Beauty. I think it's such a pretty color, and look at how subtly it just blends into my skin. Really enjoyed the blush. And of course, the Blooming Rose Lipstick from L'Oreal. What a fun pop of color. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you jump on over to Joe Good's channel, The Middle-Aged Mink, to see Joe and I talk about me, <laughs> which seems weird but I think you might enjoy it. I'll have it listed in the description box down below. I wanna thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly, this is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.